and Judge Maybelline is furious when she discovers that Rodney Kelly and Rodney Kelly bring their case before Judge Maybelline in Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. All rise. Court is now in session. Judge Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matter of Keisha Kelly versus Rodney Kelly, and I'm advised that the two of you have been married for two years. Uh, you don't have any children together, but you have a bunch of them between the two of you. Yeah. Eleven, yeah. to be exact. And I'm glad we don't have any between Woo. us. Well, you didn't need any more. I know, that's right. Your six and her five, that's more than enough. <laughs> Ain't yeah. More than enough. Uh, you want him to reimburse you for your clothing that he destroyed. Yes, I do, Your and You Honor. say this marriage is ending because, according to you, Mr. Kelly, your wife is just a little too boyish for you. That's right. That's and right. And according to you, you didn't have time to get pretty and dressed up. You were too busy being his babysitter and housekeeper and all of that. Is yes, that right? Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Your Honor. Now, I you in a suit and you in wife. sweats. Yes, yeah. this is what I'm comfortable with. What's yeah. going on, Mr. Kelly? Your Honor, I am disgusted with my wife. Why? From girly to manly. Look at her. Just take one good look at her. She cusses like on? a sailor. You hear what I'm saying? She cusses like a sailor. She sits like a man. She burps and belches all out in public like a man. I'm just sick of my wife. Well, wait May a minute. May I show you how my wife sits, Your Honor? If you want to. Please. My wife, she, I'm telling you, Your Honor, my wife, you know, usually women sit with their legs closed like this or they have them crossed. My wife sits out in public like this with her legs wide open. The same I'm sick way you of her. Sit, huh? I'm sick of her. Really? Yes, ma'am, I am. Well, how did you come into contact with this cussing sailor, uh, wide boy sitting woman? Uh, Your Honor, please let me tell you, I was engaged to her sister. Huh? I was engaged to her sister. And wait, when wait, I wait, met wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, you can't just. You can't just slap. Your Honor, I am disgusted with my wife. Why? From girly to manly. Look at her. Just take one good look at her. She cusses What's like on? a sailor. You hear what, what I'm saying? She cusses like a sailor. She sits like a man. She burps and belches all out in public like a man. I'm just sick of my wife. Well, wait May a minute. May I show you how my wife sits, Your Honor? If you want to. Please. My wife, she, I'm telling you, Your Honor, my wife, you know, usually women sit with their legs closed like this or they have them crossed. My wife sits out in public like this with her legs wide open. The same I'm sick way you of her. sit, huh? I'm sick of her. Really? Yes, ma'am, I am. Well, how did you come into contact with this cussing sailor, uh, wide boy sitting woman? Uh, Your Honor, please let me tell you, I was engaged to her sister. Huh? I was engaged to her sister. And wait, when wait, I wait, met wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, you can't just... You can't just slide past that. <laughs> That's got to sink in. You were engaged? Yes, I was. To her sister? Yes, yes. Her blood sister? Yes, I was. Hmm. was she, she enticed around? me. Was she around when you were engaged to her sister? Yes, she was. And how long had you dated her sister? Maybe about six, seven months. What? Yes. So why did you get attracted to this tomboyish person and you dumb, were dating her dumb. sister? That's what it was. I'm dumb for messing around with her. Can't be all that dumb. She did something to you. She enticed me. Wearing sexy clothes. She used to act like a lady, but now she's all man. What is he talking about? That's not true, Your Honor. That's not true. Your Honor, she done things to entice me. Like I'm what? I'm telling you. Wearing sexy outfits. She used to keep her hair done. She, you know, she said things that I like. She aroused me. Oh, so she whispered all those little sweet oh, nothings yes, in here, huh? Yes, she did. She certainly Told did. Told you things that she would do to you that the sister wasn't saying? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I liked them kind of young anyway, so that's what got me into that. What you mean, young? Well, How much younger is she than you? 11 years. Oh, and the sister was closer to your age? Yes, ma'am, she was. That is some low life to stuff. You know that? Yes, I've asked for forgiveness. Listen with her times. little sister while you dating the big sister. <laughs> that is low. I wish I hadn't done that today. I know you do. And little sister, what was your problem? Well, Your Honor. Jealous of big sister because she had a cute man? Yeah. No, that's Your was Honor. It. What was, was that all about? To, I was attracted to him, Your Honor. Why you have to be attracted to the man your sister's engaged to? It just happened. It Ain't no just happened. It wasn't Why no... you sit your behind up there and look at somebody and lust after somebody yeah. your sister's yeah. engaged to? It was wrong, Your Honor, but, I mean, 
You don't it like your sister intention. trying to get even with her, trying to make her mad, trying to hurt her? What's, what's up? You didn't like what she did to you when you were younger? No. Trying to hurt your little sister, big no, sister, get even? No, it wasn't even? that, Your Honor. It was, was it? I was attracted to him. He was handsome. He was older like I but like him. But he was your sister's boyfriend. <laughs> yes, about he was, to be your, your brother-in-law. Did yes. that not mean anything because you were attracted to him? At the time, I guess not. No I... life. <laughs> That's all yeah. I got to say. Can I tell you, can I defend myself on the tomboy and stuff? Defend, said, whatever. Your Honor, he <laughs> says that I, I did, I admit that I used to dress sexy. What you do? How you dress when you were trying to get him from your sister? I would wear, like, short skirts, you know. I did this every day, though, just so I could, you know... Attract any attract, man. Attract a man. I was single. Uh -huh. And I was trying to, you know, With find me a man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And trying to find you uh, somebody to take care of you, huh? That's what it was. Yes. Trying to find a meal ticket. Yeah. Yeah, because yes. she ain't worked since I, I met her. But how did you dress to entice him? What did you put on? Okay, like at Christmas time, I had on, like, it was a dress, and it was, like, low cut in the front. You know, I don't... Cl little cleavage showing, you know, and I wanted him to look at me. And it was short. Yeah. And tight. It was short. And it tight. was short. Yeah. And you had your hair styled other yeah. than cornrows? Yeah, it was, it was like, it, in a, a bun, a bun with some little curls at the top. Oh, yeah. But you had on some makeup? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, most I ever wear was eyeliner, lipstick, and lip gloss. That's the most I ever wore anyway. Mm -hmm. So far as me wearing makeup and stuff, I don't know where he's getting all of that from. But the clothes, yeah, yeah I can say that I did dress, you know, sexy, you know, at times and or whatever. And what would you say to him or do to him when he was in your presence? Well, like, wink at him, uh -huh. smile at him, stuff like that. But anyway, you're right. start going out with him behind your sister's back? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Huh. Can I still defend myself? Go on, keep talking. Okay, now, and he keeps talking about, uh, oh, she cussing, and sit with her legs all open. I mean, when I, you watch football, I sit around, I like football. He don't even really know nothing. Up. He never even was into sports. Yeah, right. Never was into sports. Okay. I like basketball and football. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with me sitting up rooting for my team? I don't see nothing wrong with that. Do you like sports? Sure do. I love sports. Season ticket holder, Lakers, basketball. <laughs> hey, last love, 20 years. I love it. I love sports. Mm -hmm. I love them. And just because, yeah, when his friends come over, oh, I'm supposed to go upstairs and be a hermit and watch TV by myself. I mean, if I'm in my own no. home, why can't I sit around everybody else and watch TV? I'm at mm. home, I'm in sweatpants, what I'm supposed to have on a, a short mini skirt on a Sunday after I done cooked or slaved over the stove all day. And, and just... Well, you know what, I don't, I, I think you should have freedom, and I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't in your house, but there's a time and place for all things. If your husband is entertaining his friends, it's and it's the man's party, and they sitting around watching the football game, and it's their socialization time, seems to me that you could find something else to do to for your right, socialization. A lot, of, a lot of people that come, they're both of our friends. They're not just, uh, you know, I'm not just single. But it's a boy's day out. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. I, that's just how I am, and okay. I like that. I well, mean, you ask me, I, I'm I grew just up telling with you. my father and my brother sitting around watching football. You know and what I I'm saying? I have five brothers too, and I grew up with them. But there's a time and place <laughs> for all things. That's why all I'm saying to you is, is if your husband's trying to entertain his friends mm -hmm. and they're trying to do male bonding, mm -hmm. as I say in every marriage, there should be a time for yourselves, a time for each other. A time alone, a time with your friends, a time with his friends, a time with family together, a time with your family, a time with his family. It's just a time and place for all things. And so on Sunday afternoon, if the guys are sitting around watching football, you know, they may want to have some conversation that's not appropriate for them to have in the presence of a lady. They may just want to respect you and not talk like that. Huh. So you should go somewhere else and have your fun and your time. He used me as a babysitter. He used me for yeah. sex and as a maid. Oh, yeah, he right. used you for sex. Yes. Why are you going to say he used you for sex? That's all you offered him when you were enticing him. <laughs> yeah. No, Your Honor. He got what you offered. Your Honor, that's all he used me for. Me and him was together. We were together for like two years, three years before we got married. This, we got together, we get into it, I leave. He, soon, the first person he called when he needs somebody is me. Huh. The only thing, the first thing he said was, oh, what you gonna cook for dinner? Oh, them clothes need to be washed. Why don't you wash the dishes? Why don't you uh, vacuum clean? Come yeah. on, I want, you know, he want to have sex and all of that. Okay, yeah. that's the only reason you call me back when you get in a jam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you did that for three years before you married him? 
Yeah, like a so fool. So sound like you were like being a, a fool, huh? Like a fool. I was in love with him Wait and minute, I went so back. When you I went, went back. back to him, what did he offer you other than you offered him sex? What did he do for you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, he offered me God. nothing. So who had the place to live? Tell her that. He did. Oh. I'm so it looked like he offered a roof over your head, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why you went back when he called you then, huh? Yeah, like a fool, I went back. But I mean, then he he like embarrassed me. He always would put me down. Oh, I'm oh I'm a talk like oh, one time we were going we went to church, okay. Uh, your 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 skirt is too wrinkled. Look at your hair; it's just pulled back in a ponytail. You know, and doing this in front of our church members. You know what? I, and to me, that that was hurtful yeah, for him rude. to do that. You know, like I told him, God say, "Come as you are." He don't say, "Make sure your shirt is armed perfect." Or, Come as you are. Burnt my whole. He even burnt my purse up with yeah, our marriage I did license. It. I did it. He burnt our marriage license, my birth, all, even my kids' pictures, Your Honor. Yeah. My kids' baby's pictures that I can't so get back. So you put this in a grill that you barbecue on? Yes, yeah. ma'am, I did. You didn't have the right to do that. I never yeah. burnt up none of his stuff. Right. How much did this cost? It came to like four hundred and seven, like four hundred and fifty dollars, maybe four seventy at the most. Now you know what? You just burned up four hundred seventy dollars because you were angry. You don't have a right to burn up her thing. I never burned none if, of his stuff. If you didn't like what she was wearing, you know you can't control that. But you don't have a right to burn it up if that's what she wants to wear. But you know you didn't get into this right in the first place. So how did yeah, you expect right. it to be right? You really expected that? The way you dogged out her sister? Yeah. <laughs> that was a dumb move on my part. I did it to No, me. it was just not, it was not a nice move. It to you me. know what I'm saying? So, and the way she, quote, enticed you, the two of you sneaking behind her sister's back, starting a relationship, then laughing at her sister's face before she found out about it, did you really think it was gonna work? No. No. I did. You did? <laughs> No, it wasn't going to work. Because just like you dogged out your sister, disrespected her, somebody was going to do the same to you. That's why you got scared about the ex-wife when she came into the house. All right, you have to pay her back the money, though, because you have had absolutely no right to destroy her clothing. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to order you to reimburse her the $474 that she's requested. And that's the order of the court. Court's adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I cannot Sick believe you. I'm, I'm glad this is okay. over, too. I'm glad. I am glad. You know that? I don't mm -hmm. ever want to see you again. That's After good. Day, that is good. With. That's good. Next time That's you good. see me, I'll be all the way in the wind. Yep. You know that? Yep. And I'm That's getting good. away from you as quick That's as good. I can. Just give me That's my money. Right. That's I'm going to give you your money. That's that money ain't That's nothing. I'm going to give you that money. As soon as we get there, I'm giving it to you. Yeah. You knew who I was when you first met me. That's right. You knew who I was. I should have been got away from you a long time ago. You knew that I wore sweats. You knew that I cussed. You knew all of that. Yeah. The girls feel the burn.